values tantra and yoga diametrically opposite tantra starts with you as you are yoga starts with what your possibility is tantra says sex is very deep because it is life but you can be interested in tantra for wrong reasons do not be interested in tantra for wrong reasons and then you will not feel that tantra is dangerous then tantra is life transforming <coughs> love has its own meditation everything can become a meditative act it all depends on your approach and attitude to life but you do not know love you know only sex and you know the misery of wasting energy then you get depressed after it then you decide to take a vow of celibacy and this vow is taken in depression this vow is taken in anger and in frustration it is not going to help at all some tantric methods have been used by yoga as well but with a conflict a fighting attitude tantra uses the same methods but with very loving attitude you can accept things lovingly or out of compulsion as a fighting attitude or conflict then you get the problem tantra uses the same methods but a very loving attitude and that makes a great difference this very quality of technique changes the technique becomes different because the whole background is different the moment your attitude towards the simple things in life changes becomes totally accepting and you are entering into lovingly not only the background changes your with the change in your attitude the result becomes miraculous ordinary thing is the way you handle your water to drink will it can be done meditatively or it can be done non meditatively you put on clothes every morning you dress and you undress this normally we do unconsciously the moment this act is done consciously your attitude changes and approach of lovingness comes towards it respect towards the clothes that give you respect that protect you and with that respect you will begin to feel a process of transformation has begun in you it has been asked what is the central subject matter of tantra the answer is you you are the central subject matter of tantra what are you right now and what is hidden in you that can grow and you are and what you can be right now you are a sex unit and unless this unit is understood deeply you cannot become a spirit unless water undergoes the process that it has to go through in its steps it cannot become tea or coffee for you for tea all the different elements have to infuse into the water so that requires a certain amount of warmth or temperature only then it can absorb and the water and all the elements make 
Begin the process of transformation and you get a tea, a beverage. The same water, when it is added to the fruit juices, it becomes a fruit drink. Unless this unit is understood deeply, you cannot become a spirit, you cannot become a spiritual unit. Sexuality and spirituality are two ends of the same energy. If you look at it, water and tea are two ends. Water is one, it is it in its raw form. And when it undergoes through the process, then the tea is obtained, the coffee is obtained or something else is obtained. Water has the capacity to absorb the nutrition from the earth and carry it to the, make it available to the plant. Tantra starts with you as you are. Yoga starts with what your possibility is. Yoga starts with the end. Tantra starts with the beginning. And it is good to start with the beginning. It is always good to begin with the beginning. Because it is if the end is made the beginning, then you are creating unnecessary misery for yourself. You look at the entire process of cooking begins from the beginning you start taking the ingredients and start going through the process of infusing them together and then in final end the dish is prepared this is the process methodology of tantra everything in life is the process of tantra when you start getting ready for the morning to go to work. It is a process of Tantra. You start from where you are and from there you start preparing yourself to present yourself for the occasion. You have to become a God, the ideal and you are just an animal. You want to convert this water and the other ingredients into a precious gravy, but it is in the raw form, water. And the animal goes on creating the problems because of the ideal of God. It goes mad, it goes crazy. Tantra says, forget the God. If you are the animal, understand it. This animal in its totality, in that understanding itself, the God will grow. The godliness will grow. And if it cannot grow through that understanding, then forget it. It can never be the ideal. It can never be. And ideas cannot bring your possibility out. We are idealistic about this and that. We start worshipping and what we gain in that, we stand nowhere. It is like watching a pornographic movie, the people making love on the people making having sex on the stage. What will you gain? You can simply, that is not the way. You have to go through this process. So that may be the ultimate, but just watching it, um, Umar Khayyam's one couplet is Rubai, what shall you gain a fool by talking about those who are drunk and gone? By talking about Buddha, what will you gain? You have to understand how did Buddha went through this process that he attained to awakening. Why did it, how and the process through which Buddha attained to that is important, not what Buddha is. 
so you are the central subject matter of of tantra as you are as you can become your actuality and your possibility you have to there is a word self actualization in psychia psychology you have to the entire process of transformation is understanding your potentiality and then working to make that pos um, that potentiality a possibility they are the subject matter sometimes people get worried if you go to understand tantra god is not discussed moksha liberation is not discussed nirvana is not discussed what type of religion is tantra tantra discusses things which make you feel uh, disgusted as i am talking about there is no talk of god or anything simply things that relate to you and about which you are totally ignorant you have gained degrees honors by spending 25 to 27 years of your precious life in university campuses and when you come out with honors and degrees do you have the answer to the simple questions that life asks you on a day to day basis do you know how to interact with people everyone thinks he knows about it because you can reproduce you think you know no one wants to discuss sex and sex is everyone's problem this is the basic problem of everyone elite or the man on the common street but he is not encouraged to discuss it no one wants to discuss love because everyone feels that he is a great lover already and look at your life it is just hatred and nothing else and whatsoever you call love is nothing but a relaxation a temporary a little relaxation relaxation of hatred look around you and then you will know what you know about love I have heard once Bal Shane went to his tailor for uh, every day robe, and the tailor took six months to make the simple robe for the mystic. The poor fakir, when the robe was ready, and the tailor gave it to him, Bal Shane said, "Tell me, even God." took 6 days to create the whole world within 6 days god created the whole world and you took 6 months to make this poor man's robe bal shane remembered the tailor in his memoirs the tailor said yes god created the world in 6 days uh, but look at the world what kind type of world it is he created the world in 6 days but look at the world look around you look at the world that you have created then you will come to know what do you know about anything you are not just grouping in darkness and because everyone else is also grouping in dark you cannot be that you are living in light if everyone else is grouping in dark you feel good because then you feel there is no comparison but you are also in dark and tantra starts with you as you are tantra wants to enlighten you about basic things which you cannot deny if you try to deny them it is at its own co cost cost tantra for tantra to attain fruition in you surrender is the beginning just surrender and move with the force what is the fear why be afraid if you cannot be unafraid with your lover then where would you be unafraid and once you have the feeling that the life force helps be itself and take that right path that is needed it will give you very basic things enough for now